Hello and welcome to the Off to Work Event Photography Awards 2020. Somewhat later than planned and we're obviously not in the palatial surrounds of number four Hamilton Place in Mayfair. And unfortunately there aren't any drinks or Moorish blue strawberry canapes to hand. No, it's just me, a member of the Visions group behind the camera, Tom, and our, uh, and our founder, headline sponsor, MD of Off to Work, and all round good egg, Philip Atkins, who's lurking in the background as I speak. We're here in the Off to Work Richmond office, which services the southeast and M4 corridor, um, and has adorned the walls with other print, with prints from previous EPA years. And behind, of course, lots of fun, off to work branding. But despite the trying times and the virtual nature of this award ceremony, our enthusiasm remain, remains undampened for the competition and the cracking collection of camera work that was entered this year. Indeed, the competition attracted nearly 2,000 photo photographs, which were carefully whittled down to long lists of up to 40 shots in each of the 15 core categories. These were then remotely voted for by some 40 industry leaders. So they were actually done individually this year because lockdown landed literally two days before we were due to do the group judging sessions. This led to a short list of six to 12 shots in each category, which meant a, a record 70 photographers were shortlisted this year. So to all of those shortlisted shooters, it's an amazing accolade if, if to, to have been uh, shortlisted in itself. And we'll present all those photos as we go through the ceremony. We also had a record number of judges this year because during lockdown, we launched an online voting platform which attracted thousands of votes from the public across a dozen of the core categories and has led to an additional set of People's Choice Awards, which we'll be announcing today, along with the winners, runners-up, and highly commended entries in each category. Plus the Amateur Award, the Portfolio Award, and an exciting new Best of British Award, um, created and sponsored by Visit Britain. Indeed, I'd like to thank all the sponsors for their continued enthusiasm and support through this very trying trading period. Um, but especially to our event production partners, as I've mentioned, Visions Group, who are helping us with this broadcast, and marketing agency Tembo, who stepped up and have been working with us with all the pre-awards social media and marketing. So, without further ado, I'm going to disappear from your screens. Hooray, I hear you cry. And we're going to concentrate on a phalanx of fabulous photography. And so here we are with the Off to Work Event Photography Awards 2020 presentation. But firstly, with just a quick reminder of our social media accounts and tags, please share as widely as possible. And if you are lucky enough to win an award, shout it from your social media steeples. And the categories, more than ever before, and they act as a nice itinerary for the evening. We'll kick off with behind the scenes, run through catering and corporate and cultural, the new fashion events category, the big music events category, as well as venues and weddings, also both big ones, and also new Best of British this year, sponsored by v Visit Britain. The People's Choice Awards will be announcing one for, each, for 12 categories, as well as an overall winner at the end, the Portfolio Award, the Best Amateur, and culminating in the Best Overall Winner, the big one at the end. And starting with the Behind the Scenes category, sponsored by our event production partner, Visions Group, who are helping us create this broadcast today um, and have been some fabulous supporters of the awards. Behind the Scenes, is uh, one for the purists and a, a favourite category of all our judges. And we have nine shortlisted shots. Some familiar names there. Deb Porter, 
who's won this category for the last two years. Floris, Floris Hoyer from Holland, who, who was runner-up last year. But let's look at some photos. And some cracking shots there. Um, ladder Man jumps out, as does the uh, A Thousand Candles Being Lit in Marrakesh, I believe. Um, some staging back and front at the same time. Always love those shots. And some people playing with their phones and oh carnival queens as well so moving on to the award winners and we start with the people's choice award which is what we'll do throughout this uh presentation and this year noah goodridge wins with a quick break that's uh up somewhere high and there's a chef playing on his phone rather than rattling the pans in the kitchen congratulations noah so, and we go back to the nine original shortlisted. Noah stays in there and has a chance, but let's see who wins a highly commended award. And that goes to Vicky Couchman for Carnival Queens. And these are three lovely ladies at the Margate Festival. So we take that one out and we're left with eight. And the runner up is again Floris Hoyer. Two on the trot for runner-up in the behind-the-scenes category. Crowd versus crew. One of those classic, everyone's enjoying themselves, but look what's happening backstage. A cracking shot. And we take that one away, or blank it out. Who is going to win? Is it going to be Deb Porter for the third year running? No, it's Ladderman. Daniel Vagel with the power of preparations. And I think anyone in events is going to love that shot and think, yes, I've seen a man carrying a ladder like that at the back of my event. And here's Daniel with a few words. Yesterday, this amazing award has been delivered to me. And uh, since we have some minor difficulties with travels and events nowadays, I'm shooting this video in order to say a huge thanks to everyone involved. Uh, I'm very honored and very happy to receive this award. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Daniel, and thank you for that message all the way from Budapest. He is definitely the one with the longest title, Brand Activations and Experiential Events, sponsored by International Confex. The exhibition for the events industry which has just announced new dates for may next year moving on from its normal february dates and uh well done to them to reorganizing and hopefully we'll all will all be there in may brand activations and experiential events cover everything from product launches and road shows to team building events and we have nine shortlisted photos three of which are from Noah Goodwit, Goodrich, um, all along the middle there. Um, Floris Hoyer making an appearance again. And Kevin Moran, last year's winner of this category. Let's look at the photos. And an eclectic group, as one would expect for this category. Some cuddly animals and some chemistry in the middle there. Let's see who's won the People's Choice Award, which will be first up on each category. And the winner is... Paul Nichols with Alpaca Yoga at Painswick. My word. Um, yeah, you can imagine the public really wanting, really loving these uh, cuddly alpacas and, getting, and the chap getting zen with them. A cracking shot and congratulations to Paul. And he's still in the running for the main EPA Awards. And there are two highly commended for this category. The first is Floris Hoyer for Letterazza by Nespresso, an enormous launch they made. You can see the Nespresso branding in the lower middle and a very colourful capture there. My word, that looks like a fun party. So we blank that one out and are left with eight. And also highly commended is Mike Spencer with Corporate Sports Day. And there are the chaps, well, throwing a few shapes um, 
on their on their company award company day away and we blank that one out leading to the runner up on brand activation experimental events is Paul Nichols so two awards for Paul and the cuddly alpacas no great surprise there um everyone's going to love that photo and we blank that one out and the winner of the brand activation experiential events category sponsored by international confex noah goodridge hanging on display a very colorful shot of some well colorful clothing and it's unique clothes clothes being displayed at a, a launch at Somerset House. So many congratulations, Noah. And here's him saying a few words. I'm incredibly honoured to win the Experiential Events category at the Event Photography Awards this year. I really feel like these awards are incredibly important to our events industry, not only for the photographers that take the pictures, but for all the suppliers within the industry that make events happen. Within these uncertain times, I really hope that everyone's well. I really hope that, you know, everyone can get back to shooting events at some point in the near future. And thanks to Philip and all the team are off to work for their incredible work on the awards. And I look forward to seeing you all again, hopefully in person, pretty soon. Thanks so much. Fabulous. Many thanks, Noah. Category three, and it's catering. One of my favourites, because I like my food, and I'm only sorry that I won't be chomping on some canapes by category sponsor Blue Strawberry this year, hopefully next year. The catering category was won by Noah last year, but let's see who's shortlisted in 2020. Well, not Noah, but Deb Porter, one, two, three, and Floris Hoyer, last year's winner. They seem to be tussling things out. Let's look at the photo. And a lovely collection from... Oh, top in the, top in the middle there is... Uh, that's definitely the Palio um, in Siena. Um, some, something that I've, uh, I do like, Siena. And uh, to the right of that, that's Michael Keynes, a uh, double Michelin star chef of past. Um, another iconic chef, Albert Roux there and some staff, uh, oh, a, a couple of cocktail shakers, and a very big barbecue. Let's see who's won the People's Choice Awards. And it's one of the cocktail shakers, mixologist who is, who is keeping your eye on the prize um, by Debbie Bragg. Everybody loved that one, Debbie, and many congratulations. And she's still in the running for this the main events and highly commended in the catering category. Matt Chung with service with a smile. That's taken at the Saatchi Gallery and is an absolutely lovely shot. We blank that one out and let's see who's next. The runner up is Alistair Veriard with Pollock i.e. a Jackson Pollock display of canapes and yes, my word, we could eat all those up at once. Well done, Alistair. And so we're left with seven possibilities for the winner of the catering category 2020, sponsored by Blue Strawberry, and it is Deb Porter with Every Year He Is Here which is also being renamed Eyes for Detail. My word, and they are popping out. So that's Albert Roux, I think, of Wimbledon, checking plates on the way out, and there's something maybe wrong with that one. Congratulations, Debbie. And here's a message from her. Thank you so much to the EPAs and Back to Work for this year's Catering Category Awards. And thanks so much to Blue Strawberry Events for sponsoring the category. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. Thank you.
Many thanks, Debbie. And the next category is Christmas events. Everybody loves a Christmas party, but maybe there won't be so many held this year. Or will there? Oxygen events are sponsoring the category and they're holding virtual Christmas parties um, with Paul Sinner doing quizzes and Russell Kane comparing. Check those out and maybe book in. Anyway, let's see who's been shortlisted. And Alistair Verriard, twice this time, uh, as is Maria Zintanikova. Well done, Maria. Floris pops up again, my word. And Mike Spencer, who has already been shortlisted and here again with Christmas events. Let's look at their photos. And oh, my word, a little bit of action going on there. But I must attest to it because I actually snogged Mrs. Hill at the Christmas party for the first time. And the Queen makes an appearance. God bless her. Now, there's no People's Choice Awards. We did 12 People's Choice Awards, though not all 15 are, are noted. Um, so let's move straight to the highly commended photo. And it's Mike Spencer. Reach for the stars. And yes, well, she's nearly up there. And everyone obviously popped their cracker and put their hats on. So we block that one out and go for the runner up. Which is Alistair Verriard again with shenanigans and our monarch, God bless her. 70 years next year, or 2022. Long may she reign. So four left. Which one's the winner? Is it the Snoggers? Is it the Santa on the phone? Or throwing confetti, it would seem. Let's see. It's Santa on a break by Floris Hoyer. Well, he looked like he's uh, given out a lot of presents and is in the back room having a rest. Congratulations, Flora. Floris. And here's he is. Hi, guys. This is Flora speaking, calling from uh, the Netherlands. I've put on my special Christmas sweater today and I've decorated my not so very Christmassy tree. Um, but I'm very, very excited to uh, show you this award and to tell you that I have won the category Christmas parties this year for the Event Photography Awards. It's really weird to win an award like this in a, in a time like this. Uh, the event that I photographed was in December 2019, so it's not even a year ago, so it doesn't feel that long anyway. And I really, really strongly remember the time I took this picture because the guy was sitting right in between all those flight cases and it looked like such a funny picture. So I walked around him for about 15 minutes or so, maybe, maybe a bit less, uh, to look at what the best angle was for the image. And I'm so excited about the picture and I, I remember my client was super excited about the picture as well. So that's a very good thing. Anyway, I want to thank you all for, uh, for well, nominating me and uh, I'm very proud and happy to have won this award. So thank you everyone over at Event Photography Awards. I hope you have a great evening, everyone all over the globe celebrating their uh, awards. And uh, I hope to see you guys uh, next year for a live event. Thank you very much. Have a great Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Many thanks, Floris. Ho, 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 indeed. And if it uh, took you 15 minutes to get the right angle, Santa really was on a break. And another category beginning with C. Two Cs, in fact. Corporate events and conferences. And I'm just going to read you the uh, shortlisted photographers here because they're doubled up everywhere. Alexander Bogdansky has got two. Noah Goodridge, who's made this category his own and is the winner in the last two years, has got two. Um, Chris Contos has also got two, as has Daniel Vagel, who's already won an award. Also in the mix are Matt Chung, Siobhan Hennessy, Floris Hoyer again, and Harry Richards. So let's have a look at the photos. And it's an interesting selection. Corporate conferences, you know the jobs you have to do with this. But from dinosaurs to happy people to people admiring the view. Oh, and someone looks like doing the hacker in the top right. And let's see who's won the People's Choice Award. And it's Noah, Noah Goodridge enjoying the view. And then we return to 
the main selection and let's see who's highly commended. There are two highly commended awards in this category this year. The first being Alexander Bogdansky with Happy. It's a company celebration and that lady certainly looks happy, as does everybody else. So we blank that one out. Oh, I should mention that the category is sponsored by Tembo, who've been helping me um, with the marketing and all the social media work, um, have been absolute good eggs, the marketing agency Tembo, who specialise in exhibitions and events. Anyway, the next highly commended photo is Siobhan Hennessy. Well done, Siobhan, and a fabulous shot. Shared views. Very clever shot. I think the brief included the need to have shots, but without a view of, of the delegates' faces. So a bit of creativity used there and done very well. So having blanked that one out, I keep, get, I keep looking at the Tembo elephant rather than the photos. Anyway, runner-up in corporate events and conferences, sponsored by Tembo. Floris Hoyer again. My word, he's having a good night. Projecting Dutch landscapes. And their windmills. How very Dutch indeed. And lots of people back in 2019, not socially distanced. Hopefully we'll soon be able to pack into these sort of conferences again soon. Congratulations, Floris. And so, who is the winner? Is Noah going to make it a, a hat trick, three on the trot, and another double year? Oh gosh, he has. So the people and the judges agreed. Enjoying the View by Noah Goodridge is this year's winner of the Corporate Events and Conferences category. And here's Noah again. These awards are so important to the events industry. Every single year, the award entries get better and better. And I find myself struggling to keep up with some of the incredible entries throughout the year. So I hope everyone's doing well in these difficult times. I really hope that we can get back to shooting events at some point in the near future. Congratulations to all the winners. Congratulations to all the nominations. Thanks so much. And double congratulations to you, Noah. So from corporate events and conferences to cultural events. So much more public and almost one might say fun and this year sponsored by Fisher Productions who recently joined forces with our partners Visions Group and become part of the Event Technology Group. And on the shortlist well the one that pops out at me is Andrew Witten there winner of this award in the last two years and his 2018 photo went on to win the whole competition. Let's look at the photos. And unexpectedly, an eclectic collection. Some wonderful shots there. From steam engines to ferry boats, aeroplanes, horses, and, uh, and conga trains. Conga trains? Conga. Let's all do the conga. The People's Choice Award goes to Gary Jones for Halung. Um, my gosh. That is quite an expressive lady. Well, it's a combination of the Bronze Age and the Viking Age all coming together at the Roundhouse in quite an expressive moment. And my word, the public really, really loved this one. It was a big winner in the People's Choice Awards. And it's still in the running for the main awards. There are two highly commended shots. Let's see which is first. And it's... Danny North with Pothili Spirit um, on the rostrum two years ago in this category and a lovely shot of Cornwall, my word, and that is a long table. What a lovely lunch or tea or whatever. Good party to have been to. Well done, Danny. So we blank that one out and look at the next highly commended, which is Paul Nichols with the, the Italian red arrows, I suppose but uh, green, white and red stripes and blue photos. It must have been, you know, quite an effort to see those all stacked up and kept them into one shot. An amazing photo. Well done, Paul, and highly commended indeed. 
Now then, we whittling down to your favourites. Runner-up, Ian Knight, who was runner-up in previous years in the cultural events um, and an amateur entry with giant touch. And that young lady, I don't know, she looks happy or scared or trepidatious or jolly, but it looks like a jolly giant at the very least. So this is a competitive category. Who's coming out on top? It's Paul Nichols. Again, well done, Paul. Bruce Munro, time and place at Messums in Wiltshire. And an amazing lighting installation that illuminated the barn there. Um, and a lady enjoying them and contemplating them and, and catching the evening light as well with the clouds. An amazing shot. I'm not surprised. It's come out on top. Paul Nichols, many congratulations. And let's hear from him. Hello, off to work and the Event Photography Awards and um, welcome to Gloucestershire, glorious Gloucestershire. Um, my name's Paul Nichols. I hope you can understand uh, a thing I'm saying with my broad Gloucestershire accent. Um, but um, really honoured to have been shortlisted um, in the uh, awards again for the fifth year and uh, to actually this year win it in the cultural awards section so i made up by that um the picture one um, made the uh, daily telegraph on page two so this is a double whammy for that picture um and uh really appreciative got to say i've looked at all the categories in all the um uh things that's been posted on facebook an amazing set of pictures by everybody especially during these difficult times and uh one last thing thanks to Graham Mill again for organizing it all and also stay safe uh, during COVID and um, hope to see you uh, at events next year. Thanks very much. Bye. Oh, and thank you, Paul. Very kind of you to give me a wee nay check there and keeping his trophy close, almost like he's cuddling it. Well done, Paul. And moving on to a new category now, fashion events sponsored by Platinum, who are the premium staffing agency within the Off to Work group. And we had a fabulous collection of photos from a few specialists in the field. As we can see, Laura de Mayo, my word, four shortlisted shots dominating the list there, but also a couple from Kimberly Archer and Noah making an appearance again. Carolina Krasuska and Judith Nyonga complete the shortlist. Let's look at the photos. Wow. Wow. When Philip suggested we should do fashion events, I thought, OK, let's give it a whirl. But my word, what a fabulous selection. Um, gosh, they could all win. But let's see who are the award winners. People's Choice Award, Carolina, all hands on deck. All hands on head. Oh, my word. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Well, a lot of people working on someone's hair there. Carolina, fabulous shot. Many congratulations. The People's Choice Award winner. Uh, the public loved that one. And still in the running for the main awards. Let's see who's highly commended. It's Carolina again. Um, no great surprise there. Doubling up there, Carolina. So we take it out this time. And it's Laura de Mayo with the runner up. Well, with four shortlisted, one would hope she'd get on the rostrum. And my goodness, well, it's it's quite a shot and quite a moment. My word, that's uh, lots of fashion on display there. Well done, Laura. And so the winner of the new fashion event shortlist, uh, sorry, uh, category sponsored by Platinum, Kimberly Archer with Walking Mirage. <laughs> My word, what an amazing shot. Many congratulations, Kimberly. And here she is. Hi, it's Kimberly here. I just wanted to come online quickly and say thank you so much for this little beauty of a trophy right here. I'm super excited and super chuffed to be in receipt of the winning entry for uh, the brand new fashion events category. 
All of my shots came from London Fashion Weeks and I've come to 180 The Strand today to do this little recording. The winning shot came from a show called Craig Green and uh, his show was in conjunction with Adidas. Um, I'd really like to dedicate this trophy to a fellow photographer who's shot at Fashion Weeks all around the world for much of his life called Mitchell Sams. Mitchell sadly passed away during the last lockdown under lockdown related circumstances. So Mitchell, this is for you. You'll be sadly missed. And um, thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Kimberly, and uh, poignant sentiments there um, at the loss of Mitch. Um, a lovely thought to make that dedication in these uh, difficult times. Many, many thanks, Kimberly. Moving on to the music events category, sponsored by another division of Off to Work, the security division. And this is invariably the section that attracts the most entries and some amazing photos. So we have a full list of a dozen shortlisted photos um, and you know, a real mix and mix of people. So let's look at the photos, which are again, amazing. And from crooners to rappers to cowboys and uh, someone spilling a beer there, it would seem. But, you know, an amazing lighting, of course, and even a classical concert. Um, fabulous collection of photos. Um, so let's see who won the People's Choice Award. And it's Jack Kimber with Fire at Creamfields. Uh, and wow, amazing shot. What a gig that would have been. And still in the mix for the main award. So let's move on to one of the first of two highly commended photos. And the crooner gets it. Warren Miller, Alexander O'Neill singing at uh, the Olympia in Liverpool. And uh, oh, there's a lady there. Very excited. Congratulations. So we blank that one out. 11 left. And also highly commended, Dylan Singleton with Interpol. And yeah, wow, that's quite a capture on the lighting there uh, with the Axeman playing away. Fabulous shot and no great surprise that's come onto the rostrum. So we blank that out and left with 10. Who is runner up this year for music events? Jack Kimber again. Well, it's a cracking shot. Um, flame throwing, tastic. And uh, it makes me mention that the correlation between the public votes through the online platform that we created in lockdown and the judges' votes um, were incredibly close. It was literally the first, the top five or six in the industry judges and books were also the top five or six in the public voting it was an amazing correlation so well done jack uh, a double winner public and industry judges loved you both but not the overall winner in the music one who's going to win that it's james bridal with another fiery shot rock star and the rock star is of course post malone yeah, I knew that. I didn't need to ask anyone. I know my American rappers. Um, amazing, amazing photo. And here's James. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's James Bridal here. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone uh, at the EPAs and everyone who voted. Uh, it's a real honor to win the uh, Music Category Award for this year. Uh, it's been a really tough year for many, uh, especially in, in events and live music and, and festivals. Uh, I hope we can be together soon uh, in a festival, uh, a concert, somewhere where we can all get together and celebrate what we love doing. Um, but for now, I hope everyone's staying safe and uh, I can't say uh, how, how grateful I am to win this award. So thank you again and uh, see you soon, hopefully. Thank you again. Cheers. Well done, James. Down on the beach. Um, after his fiery victory. Yes, let's all hope we are at a gig again soon. 
And moving on to private events, which is sponsored by another division of Off to Work, Slice Events. Sliced Events, I should say, um, who look after events at the London Irish Centre um, up in North London and an excellent place to hold a private event. Now, this category um, created the, uh, the overall winner last year um, by Andrew Billington, but he's not made the shortlist this year. But to Jesus, Figueroa Estevez has made it three times over. Um, there's Noah again. Um, and another good selection. Let's see the photos. Wow. Well, an eclectic mix, as one would imagine. And uh, the uh, compare the, 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 the face on the bridge player to the lady driving the Dodgem. My word, what a contrast. Let's see who won the People's Choice Award. And it is the Dodgers lady, Harry Richards. Congratulations. Um, yeah, the, uh, the, the passenger doesn't look quite so comfortable. Um, and I'm not sure I'd like to be tailgated by uh, the driver. Congratulations, Harry, capturing a magic moment there. And so on to the main awards and highly commended. is David Pulteney with time to look forward and a lovely capture there's a face uh, my word and has someone who's just sent his first son to uh, university hopefully um, they're having a good time up there again soon so we blank that one out and we see which is the runner-up and Jesus gets onto the rostrum with come fly with me come fly come fly away and uh, a mother and daughter there having a lovely time at an event. But the winner of the private events category, sponsored by Sliced Events, is Harry Richards. Dodgems. So a double winner. Everybody loved it. The public and the judges. And uh, it is a cracking shot. Many congratulations, Harry. And here he is. Hello. Um, 2020 has been an incredible year for all the wrong reasons and so I'm truly chuffed the bits to be receiving this award. Um, we've had our lens caps on now for what feels like an eternity, um, but hopefully we'll be allowed out to play with light again before too long. Our clients are as sick of Zoom as we are and we're just aching to get back to the old normal together. I miss it, we all miss it, we all miss each other. Um, thank you so much to the Off to Work Events Photography Awards and also to the Private Events category sponsor, Sliced Events. See you very soon. Well done and many thanks. And now on to sporting events. Um, sponsored by Major Events International, who organise conferences and various learning events in the sector. Many thanks for your sponsorship, Major Events International. Um, and it was a major category this year. Um, we've got 12 shortlisted photos. It's certainly in my time the, the best collection of uh, sporting photos we've enjoyed. Um, and uh, let's have a look at those 12. It's an amazing collection. Um, there's you know Rory McIlroy there, wrestling, skiing, um, cricket, like a lords and beach cricket and cricket juggling bats there um and there's Jurgen Klopp um having won the Champions League won the, oh camels as well it's amazing um okay so the people's choice award let's see who won Cody Brooks with let's go surfing and the category was won by a surfing shot last year down in Cornwall this one's all the way from Hawaii Many thanks, Cody, for, for not only entering, but also congratulations for winning. People's Choice Award. And highly commended in the main awards, Matthew Lewis, with uh, a lot of Chinese photographers in the gallery as Rory McIlroy drives. Um, quite a moment. So we blank that one out. And we do another highly commended photo is Philip Brown with ecstatic members. And uh, 
as a cricket nut, I know that that is MCC members at Lords, and there's De Grandhomme, 77, the uh, New Zealand fielder. So that'll be the World Cup final, and it looks like someone just hit a four. Many congratulations, Philip Brown, one of the uh, very best sports photo photographers in the market. Okay, so we blank that one out, and we go for the runner-up, which is Peter Byrne. So a another victory shot. Um, Jurgen Klopp held aloft, um, and yeah, he's a rightly happy man. Well done, Peter. Congratulations. A cracking shot. Champions. But not the overall champion on this particular competition. The winner of the sporting events category is anyone? Edward Thomas Bishop with post-event wash. Um, this was a big winner with the judges, um, splashing it all over as Henry used to do. This was actually at Hever Castle um, after one of those sort of tough mudder commando events. So let's see what Edward t can tell us about. I'm absolutely delighted to receive this uh, award for the sporting event category winner with Major Events International for the Event Photography Awards 2020. Uh, thank you so much to the sponsors. Um, it's really put a smile on my face um, during such a very difficult time that we're all going through in our industry. Um, the photo was taken at Hever Castle, an event called Commando Series, and about 2,000 people at the event, and we took 15,000 photos that day. Uh, the team and I from sportsactionphoto.co.uk. Uh, this photo in question was uh, one in a million in that all of the elements came together and uh, it's just uh, one of those things I'm absolutely humbled to receive it uh, even my children are proud of me today so uh, thank you very much uh, from the bottom of my heart thank you and th and thank you um, another beach video um, with uh, with a nice family in the background having a paddle many congratulations Trade shows and exhibitions um, is the next category, sponsored by Purton Signs, who are fabulous supporters of the EPAs, have been over many years, and have printed literally hundreds of photos for us um, that go on display at the usual live event um, in the, uh, the, for the award ceremony. Um, sorry that you haven't been able to do that this year, but uh, wonderful people at Purton's, and we much appreciate their support and a, a nine person shortlist this year indeed uh, as a past show director um, exhibitions are not easy to photograph and uh, we've got nine really good shots let's have a look at them including two highly commended um, but also a people's choice award and this year it was won by Kevin Moran uh, last year's winner of the uh, brand experience uh, category, Don't Let the Power Go to Your Head. And that's an amazing shot at uh, a gaming show. And the lady there is uh, playing with the screen, which then adjusts the lighting installation above. Um, so amazing interaction, brilliantly caught. Well done, Kevin. And still in the mix for the main awards. Who's going to be highly commended? George Klutzky. Oops. And yeah, we get, <laughs> well, robots. Um, oops. I wonder what he thinks the robot's done. And also highly commended, Aidan Sinnott, who's also been on the rostrum in this, uh, in this category in the past, saying taste. And that looks like it. it's at Imbibe Live, which I have worked on in the past. Um, <laughs> That's a cracking shot. It's a blind tasting. Well done, Aidan. And we've blanked that one out as well, and we're whittling them down. Who's your winner? Anyway, the runner-up is... It is the Bubbles. <laughs> and, uh, oh, look, that's an international confix you can see on the badge. Uh, one of our sponsors. Um, it didn't influence the decision. Uh, but it's the sort of fun thing that you can experience at their exhibition and brilliantly captured by Jonathan Taylor. Many congratulations and well done. A really good shot, that. OK, so we've taken out the bottom row. 
What's your favourite out of that? What's left? I wonder. The winner of the trade shows and exhibitions category, sponsored by Pertons this year, is... And it's another double up. It's Kevin Moran with the Don't Let the Power Go to Your Head. And it was a big winner, both in the public vote and in the industry judges vote. Many congratulations, Kevin. And here he is. OK, uh, here to accept the award for Best Trade Show Picture from this year's EPAs. Uh, particularly good for me as trade shows form a big part of what I do. So to present the award, we have someone much more special than The Edge, or any of you two indeed. Uh, it's uh, Erin. Ah, oh, thank you very much darling, thank you very much. And I shall send a picture of this to my client who I haven't heard of since that particular event, so I'm joking, I won't do that. Very unprofessional, wouldn't it, dear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, here's to life on the other side after all this business has stopped, and we'll see you in next year's EPAs. Okay, say goodbye, Bye. Bye. Wonderful. Well done, Kevin and Erica. Um, and he obviously referenced uh, the edge there in U2, where with two years ago, Danny North had his music award presented by the edge when he was on tour in Oklahoma uh, by U2. Uh, so, yes, not the edge, but I think Erica is a fabulous substitute. And well done, Kevin. And moving on to the venues cat category um, another big one um, sponsored by team tap which is a new workforce management software system launched by off to work recently um, they have fingers in many pies um, and let's see who's been shortlisted well there's matt chung who dominated this uh, category last year and won the portfolio award as a consequence uh, Noah Goodridge always shows well in this category, and he's got three along there, my word. Paul Nichols again. Richard Gray um, is, uh, is a regular as well. And Jesus and Floris, my word. Let's see their photos. Wow. Wow. Yo, just amazing selection. Um, I've uh, published a lot of venue photos in over the years in in uh, in a past life as a publisher, um, and my word, these are some cracking shots. Um, the People's Choice Award uh, was well voted for, and let's see who won it. Ah, Carolina Krasuska, um, the Oxo Tower Terrace, and yeah, well, I can imagine the public loving that. I know I do. I've been up there. Um, for a lunch once or thrice and uh, not always left sober. Many congratulations, Carolina, winner of the People's Choice Award. And we go back to the main selection. There's, gosh, they're jumping out at me. The Two Moons, the British Museum. Highly commended. It is Richard Gray at Harry's. Um, a wonderful restaurant dressed for Christmas. Um, very well set up and... Yeah, you'd buy. Well done, Richard. Also highly commended is Noah Goodridge. Um, red and gold at the British Museum. And wow, the way the reflection in the wet there after, the, after obviously a, a bit of a rain shower with the lighting. That's a cracking catch. Well done, Noah. So we've dopped those out. Any other winners there? Who like one of the moons? Maybe. No, it's Noah again, but looking up uh, at the staircase at Hampton Court. And, you know, wow, it's not the Sistine Chapel, but it might, it's, it, it's up there with it. It's uh, one of the most beautiful bits of history um, where you can, you walk up there to, uh, to events for, for the hospitality at the Hampton Court Festival. Um, so, yeah, wor worth buying into just for the, uh, the up and down the stairs. Congratulations, Noah. So who's the winner out of this lot? Of the venues, very competitive category. 2020 winner is... Alistair Verriard with Capacious, taken from St Paul's Cathedral. Um, it's an end of conference event, 
and everybody's packed in and it just shows that wonderful wonderful venue um did you know you could hire it out for such things well you do now many congratulations alistair cracking cracking photo Hello everybody, I'm Alistair Verriard and I've been an event photographer for close to 10 years. I've got my ears in. Moustache tweak. It's an absolute honour to receive this award. I won an award for Event Photographer of the Year venue category. I said that wrong. Whew. Calm. And I have a place alongside all the other amazing talent that's won so far. Blah, 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 blah. I've forgotten my bloody words. Dirty. We all know, do we? I think we do. Happy place, happy place. As we all know, the event industry has taken a massive hit this year due to coronavirus. We've lost not only our income, but also our ability to express our creativity. With the EPA Awards, EPA, EPA. These EPA Awards really give us a chance to celebrate how amazing the event industry can really be. Clear voice. La 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 la. Shakespeare. This honestly is an absolute pleasure to receive. I can hear the cat walking about. The cat's eating the background. It's an absolute honour to receive this award. Thank you very much to the EPAs. EPA, EPA. Thank you to Off To Work for funding the event. And of course, thank you to Sir Christopher Wren for designing such an amazing cathedral. Mwah. I left marks on it. Got it? Brilliant. Uh, brilliant. Alistair, uh, if there was an award for the best video, um, I think you'd be uh, up ahead at the moment. Uh, <laughs> that was great fun. Um, many of the emotions I've uh, I've also experienced while uh, recording this voiceover, um, but I don't have a moustache to twiddle. Um, but many congratulations, Alistair, and uh, a double winner, um, best venues and best video. And now the, the final core category, um, the ones that we've done before over the years, weddings. Um, Everybody loves it, always has a little an emotional tinge with it. And certainly I'm a bit emotional because it's sponsored by Number 4 Hamilton Place, where we are not um, this year. But never mind, hopefully we will be again next. Um, and who's shortlisted? Well, Andrew Billington jumps out there. He's always to the fore with these sort of uh, shots. Uh, Siobhan Hennessy, Steve Rooney has done well in the past here um, with two shots there this year. Uh, there's Harry again. So let's look at the photos. And I've got to say, um, they're always good in weddings, but I absolutely loved them this year. And whittling them down was tough, tough, tough. Um, we had a big long list and uh, we have uh, a dozen shortlisted um, and a People's Choice Award as well as two um, highly commended. So let's start with that People's Choice Award. And the winner is... Harry Richards with Bridesmaid Meets Bride and just a, yeah, just lovely. And then on to the highly commended in the main category, in the main awards, Andrew Billington with The Dash. Um, wow, what a moment. Uh, running out of the rain. Um, quite four weddings. Looks like quite a posh do, um, but they're smiling nonetheless. And we take that out and we move on to the next highly commended, which is Steve Rooney. Stephen Rooney, entrance of the bride and groom. And there they are, top left. Um, yeah, they're making sure they get noticed as if anyone wouldn't, with lots of napkins being waved as well. Um, and I'm not good with height, so well done, Stephen, for taking that shot. And moving on to the runner up. Any favourites? Which one's jumping out? Oh, it's another quite evocative one. Jamie Flood with Father of the Bride. And, uh, wow, that's quite a portrait and quite a moment. Make sure you tie straight, Dad. Um, he's looking pretty dapper, but a really lovely moment caught by Jamie Flood. So, the winner of the weddings category, sponsored by Number 4 Hamilton Place. 
Andrew Billington with Peekaboo and well another granddad there raising a glass or a plastic one at least he's obviously been uh, outside um, and a cheeky little chappy with a bow tie in the bottom there rearing his pretty little head well congratulations Andrew a worthy winner and here he is what? no Oh, thank you. Hey, we're sponsored by 4 Hamilton Place. I think we need to make an effort. Ah, oh, that's better. I feel I'm able to represent now. Um, there's so many great photographers in this category. Um, I'm quite humbled to be picked. Somebody did send me one of these, so I was slightly tipped off. But in a very difficult year for the events industry, it's fantastic to see the EPA awards going forward again, even if it is only virtually. And I thank them for making that effort. And hopefully we'll all meet again next year in better times. Um, thank you very much again. Enjoy the rest of the evening. At least it made me make an effort. Oh, oh, that's our second pair of underpants. Oh, my word. You photographers. Um, Andrew, another great video. Some really nice thoughts. Thank you for that. And uh, yeah, remind me never to get the name of your tailor. And now another new award and a rather special one. Um, Best of British, uh, sponsored by Visit Britain. Um, the nation's tourist board but it's actually the business events team who are the catalyst behind it and Fiona MacDonald um, our contact there and an all round good egg um, she uh, is always found having chatted to her found it difficult to source great photography for business events which you know is why the entrance of these awards um, should be so lauded because it's no easy task it's a very very um, special skill you only get one chance and um, so she wants the EPAs to be a source of great photography and so we launched the awards quite close to the um, uh, end of the year um, and but still got quite a few entries um, specifically for it and they were great fun and some cracking shots but uh, the the team Fiona and her team also had um, the sway of all the long listed categories, um, sorry, all the um, long lists from the other categories and were able to pick out shots, particularly from, say, venues and, and conferences um, and corporate events because it is for business events. So it's an eclectic collection and there are nine short listed um, photos. So we see you know, Matt Chung there uh, a couple of times, Noah a couple of times again, Paul Clark, who's been entered every year. Um, of the EPAs and their photos. Well, here we go. Um, so from celebrating winning the Cricket World Cup to a good old fashioned pancake race to some wonderful shots of venues and, and indeed shots from venues as we look at uh, the shard piercing uh, the Tower Bridge there uh, and uh, some diving and some talking. You know, these are shots that Visit Britain need just to make Britain a brilliant place to hold business events. And they know what they're doing. And let's see which ones have been picked out. Um, no People's Choice Award with this, of course, but highly commended is. Dan Berman with Edwina Dunn OBM. And she talks data and with AI and technology being so important to the economy. Um, and it's very interesting how uh, the technology um, sector really loves face-to-face -face events and, and a very expressive shot there with an amazing background. So we blank that out and look to see the runner-up. And it's Noah with final touches. And here it is, well, attention to detail at, uh, at a very beautiful table. Um, just tweaking for a corporate event there. Great shot, Noah. But the winner from all these, anyone picking one out? Is it Pancake Man? Is it the cricket? Is it the divers into a Scottish 
Well, not a lock, but a, what, a looks like a cold pool or one of the venue shots. Whoa, it's the venue. Jesus Figueiredo Estevez. And it's the natural op National Opera House. Sorry, the English National Opera, who are at the London Coliseum. And wow, it's an amazing space, whatever. Um, and I know that uh, some 600 seats had to be moved out and the place recarpeted between performances for this event. Um, it's the Evening Standard Theatre Awards, um, which were overseen by Anna Winter, um, editor of uh, American Vogue, no less, um, who was keen to really make it into something like the Met Ball in New York. Um, so an amazing shot, an amazing venue, brilliantly captured, and one that we hope Visit Britain will make very good use of. Congratulations, Jesus. And here he is. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for the award. Uh, I am really, really grateful for receiving this award. Uh, as you can see, I am at home due to the COVID restrictions, but at least I got behind me the Coliseum where the winner picture was taken. Uh, thank you very much to the Event Photography Awards and Visit Britain because they vote for me for, to win this award. Uh, really, really appreciate for receiving this award. Uh, Best of British, thank you very much again. Hope to see you all of you next year. Stay safe, stay calm. See you. Okie dokie. So now we start getting down to the the bigger awards. And here is the People's Choice Awards. Um, sponsored by Off to Work. They uh, were the catalyst again behind these uh, the new online platform had hundreds of judges, made thousands of votes. Um, so everyone on this shortlist is a winner. They've won the category, one of a dozen. So well done, James, Xander, Cody, Alexander, Paul, Kevin, Noah, Jack, Carolina, Debbie, Harry, and Harry twice. Very popular with the public, our Harry. Um, and a reminder of those photos. And I'm sure we all have a favourite. But let's see. Highly commended is Cody Brooks. Um, everybody loves the surfing shot. Everyone loves the beach. And it's the, the event is actually the haiku event um, in Hawaii. Eddie Haiku, uh, which goes, which is on at the moment as we uh, as we do this. Okie dokie. Blank that out. Oh, really tough choice. But the runner up, Heilung by Gary Jones. That... Uh, the mad Saxon vanking lady. Okie dokie. Like, not sure I'd like to meet her on a dark night. Okie dokie. And oh, so many good shots. But the winner, and I've got to tell you, it was, it was a big winner, a big standout winner, statistically way off the chart. Jack Kimber with Fire of Creamfields. Wow, that would have been a gig. And here's Jack. Hey everyone, just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who voted for me in the People's Choice Awards. This is a massive honour for me, obviously, winning this, um, considering the amount of pitches that were submitted into the competition and the quality of the work itself. Um, it's a shame we couldn't be there to have a drink and celebrate all together, get to know each other, but hopefully we can do that next year. Um, big shout out to the awards themselves for everything they've done for everyone and just want to say thank you to everyone again. This is unreal. So. Nice one. Good night. Well done, Jack. Congratulations. And now we move on to uh, a favourite award of mine, the Portfolio Award. Um, obviously, I get to see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of photos. And uh, some photographers send in um, a few more than others. Um, that's all fine. Um, but some send in fabulous collections and, in, and, in, and often in particular categories. The award, the award is sponsored by, by Off to Work themselves. We've picked out four photographers this year who are effectively our shortlist. So we have Paul Nichols, who won the Cultural Award um, and did some great work in sporting events as well. We have Noah Goodridge, who has kept popping up and, of course, is a double award winner. So we highlight him in corporate brand activations and also venues where he was on the rostrum twice. Um, Deb Porter, 
as ever for behind the scenes and she of course won the catering award and laura de mayo who had four shortlisted shots um in the fashion events category but was pipped by kimberly archer and the winner of the portfolio award I think quite rightly goes to Laura De Mayo for her fashion events. Um, yeah, she had half a dozen in the top ten, um, or do- top dozen at least. Um, a really fabulous collection and a thoroughly deserved win. Um, I'm sorry she's missed out in other categories, but this is a category that's well worth winning on her own. And here she is. Hi everyone, uh, Laura De Mayo here. Um, Thank you so much for the Portfolio Award. Unfortunately, it arrived in my home in London while I was working here in Rome and uh, I got stuck here uh, due to the lockdown restrictions. So I have to keep social distance from it as well. So, uh, but um, like everyone today, um, even the award is online. In fact, here you go. Uh, oh, can you move it a bit to towards you? Yes, perfect. Thank you very much. And uh, so I can't wait to have it uh, on my hands and to hold it properly, maybe even to hug it. But uh, I suppose I have to wait for it. So thank you again. Thank you so much for this award. And uh, goodbye, everyone. Well done, Laura. And a lovely message from Italy. Sorry you're locked in. And now another major accolade for all our amateur entrants. Um, About 15% of the entries, 10 to 15% are from amateur photographers. And the section is a category, I should say, is sponsored by Splento, who are our photography and videography partners. And they sponsor the amateur award, so they're not seen to vote for any of their uh, photographers who work for them. Um, And so we have... 12 um, shortlisted shots um, because so many good ones and you'll be surprised at um, maybe you know, see Cody Brooks there um, the surfing shot he's an amateur photographer last year's joint winners Katie Frost and Ian Knight are both there um, I love the Palio shot was an amateur shot as was Alexander O'Neill so let's have a look at them wow you know just there's the paleo. Oh, the floral dance. Brilliant. Another Cornish beauty. Um, amazing music shots and behind the scenes and a fashion shot there as well. Beautifully struck. So all amateur shots. Um, so let's crack straight into the highly commended one. And that's Amanda Canosa. Um, it's the Nash Room, which is in the uh, Institute of Directors on, on Pall Mall. Uh, a beautifully lit um shot of a lady waiting for her husband's 40th birthday a surprise party eagerly awaiting her guests in a beautiful orange frock um beautifully shot beautiful uh venue great oh would have been a nice party and a nice supper i'm sure well done amanda so we blank her out and see who's going to be the runner-up oh another highly commended my apologies it's warren miller again um alexander o'neill um that's quite a shot for an amateur fabulous effort well done warren so this time the runner-up i'm getting quite excited i want it all to be it's cody from hawaii wow well i tell you what you know i'm an amateur photographer i'm a terrible photographer but i i would kill to take that photo um well done indeed cody and many thanks for entering and so who is going to be is it going to be a joint winner again is it going to be the palio or the floral dance no it's ian knight winning on his own this year for the giant touch um a worthy winner a lovely shot and uh, many many congratulations ian and here he is
how appropriate the ward was found here in stoke on trent in Burslem, the place where the photograph was taken imagine a freezing cold day drummers reverberating sounds around the area and a giant made of lights walking around thanks to splento for sponsoring this award thanks also to philip atkins and off to work for sponsoring the epas and making it possible for us amateurs to take part and recognizing the work that we do stay safe for everyone and i hope we get to real fantastic events soon bye Well done, Ian, and I think you'd probably get on the rostrum for on the video award as well. OK, here we are. It's the big one. The best overall photo of the Off to Work Event Photography Awards 2020. You've seen all the category winners and you've heard all from them. So we'll go straight to the shots, which, of course, you've also all seen before. And my word, what a splendid selection they are. I'm sure you've all got your favourites, but unfortunately I can't hear you shout them out this year. But we're going to click through them. <gasps> One gone. Oh, Ian, you've gone. Another gone. Oh, went so quick, I missed it. And we're down to a dozen. Is your favourite still there? Let's see who bites the dust next. Oh, sporting event goes. Bad luck. Not trade shows either this year. And the venues. Oh, St. Paul's doesn't make it. One more in this lot. Oh, down to nine. Is your favourite still there? Let's see. One more to go. One more down. Oh, the fashion. No. Ah, cultural. Off on a top shop one. And we are down to the final six. My word. I wouldn't like to choose between them. But our judges did. And the highly commended. First of the highly commended, actually. We're going to give away two this year. And uh, the overall. Floris Hoyer with Santa on a break. Many congratulate. I love this shot. Christmas parties are the lifeblood of the events industry. They'll be virtual this year, but back next year. So Santa may take a bit of a break, but yeah, we can see him in, on Zoom at the least anyway. And there's Floris again. Very happy with his extra trophy. Okie dokie. The other highly commended shot. I wonder what it'll be. It's James Bridal. The music events. Oh, I had that up there. Rockstar, amazing shot. And here's James again. Hello everyone, uh, it's James Bridal here. Um, what can I say, I'm uh, over the moon to win uh, highly commended overall. This award absolutely means the world to me. Um, like I said before, this year has been an incredibly great time. Um, we've never really faced anything like this in our current climate. Um, it's affecting so many industries and so many livelihoods, especially mine in uh, events and festivals and music, live concerts and so on. Um, it's, uh, I've seen it made people homeless. Um, I've seen uh, businesses crumble. Um, I have seen so many things this year which I never thought of. Um, so I'm grateful to be okay uh, at a time like this. Uh, I hope you are too. Uh, I hope we can be together again soon and um, I honestly am so grateful for this so thank you so much to those judges who voted and to the public as well thank you again solemn wise and thoughtful words there um, which we echo here at the EPAs and uh, you know let's get out there support we make events support we make music and let's get back to gigs soon well done James so down to the last four Who's going to be the runner-up? You almost, if you've got a favourite, you, you want it to stay there. Who's going to be the runner-up? Andrew Billington, last year's winner. Pipped with peekaboo. Um, well, it's a cracking shot. He just gets these moments in time. Um, and one off the top shot. Well done, Andrew. And here he is again. Wow. 
Wow, thank you so much. Um, this is quite amazing. Uh, we've seen so many brilliant photographers tonight and so many fantastic images. Um, it was enough to be counted amongst them, but um, to be given this is its quite an honour. Thank you. Um, I must thank Graham Hill for organising this and bringing it all together, making the EPAs happen virtually. Um, the founder of the EPAs, Philip Atkins, stunning. Stunning. I mean, it's brilliant to shout about um, an unsung area of photography and just to see the creativity and inspiration that's in there. Um, I'm going to be out shouting about events. They are going to be back. We are going to be photographing them and we are going to be showing what great photographers there are out there. So again, EPAs, thank you so much. It's such an honour to be involved. Thank you. Many thanks for that, Andrew. Many thanks for your uh, kind words about the awards and uh, congratulations. Be it. So here we are, the final three. One's a winner. Unfortunately, two aren't. Um, but which one is the winner? Uh, is it the Uniqlo clothes? Is it Albert Roux? Is it the Dodgems girls? Let's see who is the winner of the Off to Work Event Photography Awards 2020. It's Deb Porter with Eyes for Detail. Albert Roux at Wimbledon checking plates in his 84th year. He's now 85. You can even see the wheelchair there They've, that, that he comes in on. But my word, his, uh, his eyes are still ready to scrutinise every plate. And he's, it's, it's taken uh, at the lawn, which is one of Keith Prowse's uh, main or well, Keith Prowse's main um, hospitality facility um, that they build uh, uh, at Wimbledon Cricket Club. Um, 700 seater restaurant, Michelin star quality food. I've been there. I've eaten it. I know it. And this just says that the, the judges were wowed by this photo because it just displays the, the commitment, the attention to detail um, and that everything that you need to do to succeed in the event sector. It says everything. He's a wonderful man, an icon of catering, and this is just the most brilliant photo and says everything about what we do in the events industry. Many congratulations, Deb. And we're back in the room because we're not going to virtually award the overall winning trophy to Deb Porter here at the Off to Work Event Photography Awards 2020, we're going to actually do it. And to that end, I'd like to invite to the stage, founder of the Event Photography Awards, Philip Atkins. Thank you very much, Graham. And uh, I'm delighted to give the overall uh, winner of the Event Photography Awards 2020 to Debs Porter. And Debs, many congratulations. We have our Thank socially distanced check for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks. Oh, well, thank you so much to the EPAs and Off to Work for this award. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. Um, and thanks for Keith Prowse for giving me the opportunity to be able to take the picture of brilliant chef Albert Roux um, and hopefully next year we'll be able to get back to some sort of normality within the events photography business. Um, thanks again. Uh, many congratulations going to Deb and um, obviously this is the, the seventh year of the EPAs and as Graham has said we're delighted how they've continued to grow and they've got bigger and better uh, with new categories and new elements and thank you to Visit Britain as well for being on board this year. And uh, equally as well, thank you to everyone, as Graham mentioned, we've obviously taken judging online this year, we've had thousands of people who got engaged with the awards, and it means a great deal both to us and obviously to the photographers involved. Uh, on that note, it's been an extremely hard year, uh, as I don't think I need to say, uh, with 2020 and COVID and its effects on our industry. And uh, we hope that the uh, awards do give a ray of light, but a sunshine in the climate that we have at the moment in, in the events industry. Uh, it's a very hard situation for many of the ecosystem and especially for those who are self-employed for photographers who rely on it on a gig to gig basis in terms of earnings and uh, we really really do appreciate everything that they do and the way that they capture and um, really 
multiply, emphasize and show off the creativity and the skills that so many people in this industry uh, do have and do make uh, event experience such an amazing thing in this country. Uh, on that note as well, um, just to, to quote a, one of our actual entrants, uh, Kevin Moran, and he was talking about their work. Uh, they work in a very challenging field where there are no second chances, reshoots, professional models to direct, or any control of the environment they find themselves in, and often doing it at very short notice. And it's so very true. It is one of the hardest photography or elements of photography to do, and we really do appreciate it and, and really do um, thank them for, for the amazing work that they do, allowing our industry to continue to grow and to be successful. Uh, I'd also like to thank um, Graham, uh, our wonderful event director, uh, in terms of the awards director, looking after, he's looked after the AAPAs for a number of years now and does an amazing job. Uh, doing the comparing is not necessarily in the job description of uh, an event director, but he always does an amazing job for it. And this year having to do it virtually, so it's all a bit weird and wonderful, um, but he's done an amazing job in bringing it together. Uh, equally as well, supporting him, um, we have a marketing team off to work, and a huge thanks to, to Alia and to Chris and to Marta, uh, who've helped to do it. And again, thank you to everyone who has virtually judged the awards as well, allowing us uh, to really narrow it down to, uh, to an amazing array of winners this year. Uh, the winners will soon be uh, out there in the press, uh, out there for all to see, um, and please do feel obviously to share them, to celebrate them, um, and to make the awards get ever bigger and better. Uh, we wish everyone a great winter. Uh, we hope that the news yesterday in terms of a vaccine does mean that as an industry we can start to get back onto our feet again uh, and that 2021 proves to be a really successful year um, for all our entrants and for everyone in the events industry um, and uh, you keep safe in the meantime. Thank you. Thank you Philip and one last set of thank yous from me. Um, firstly, I couldn't mention a special sponsor earlier because it might have given the game away about Debs being here. But uh, many thanks to Pert and Signs um, for firing up the printers and running off this fabulous photograph, um, which I do hope you will soon see in the press. Um, and also, I'd like to echo Philip's thanks to uh, Marta, who came up with such a good uh, platform for the uh, People's Choice Awards, for Chris for his support and uh, direction through the times, uh, through the last few months, and also Alia of late, who put together that monster presentation that I hope you've just enjoyed. But uh, preeminently, a thank you to Philip, um, who created these awards, has sustained them, and grown them over the past seven and a half years, as he say. Um, also to all the sponsors, the judges, the willing helpers, and above all, to the brilliant photographers who have entered and won. And to everyone who watches this broadcast, thank you for taking the time. Many, many thanks. Stay well, chins up, and keep on clicking. <laughs>